Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas, Broke Man Nation. My name is Adam and this is Broke Man Finance. Tis the season to give that special someone the gift that will keep on giving for years to come. No, I'm not talking about herpes. I am talking about stocks, you weirdos. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Stocks are a gift that can get more and more valuable as the years go by, plus they can potentially pay the recipient a dividend for the rest of their life. And at the same time, it can teach that lucky person how to build wealth in the market, just like we are all trying to do. Unfortunately, you can't go to Target and buy stocks. You can't get on Amazon and purchase stocks online and expect them to be at your house in a couple of days at your front door. That's not the way it works, but there is. There is a way to purchase stocks for someone as a gift. In this video, we are going to talk about that very thing. We are going to talk about where to actually do this at. We are going to talk about the different options that you have as a buyer. We are going to talk about different fees involved and some tax points that you need to be aware of before you give a stock as a gift. So stay tuned to the very end so you are very clear on exactly what you are giving someone when you gift a stock. And you can do this with Stockpile gift cards. Stockpile has thousands of stocks to choose from, ETFs, ADRs, and every stock in the S&P 500. Stockpile is the only brokerage where you can give an e-gift or physical gift card redeemable for stock. You don't need an account to give a gift. Anyone can do this. And you also don't need an account to give me the gift of subscribing and making sure to hit that like button. Yeah, it was corny, I know. There are some stocks that Stockpile doesn't carry. Those include penny stocks, bulletin board securities, pink sheet stocks, Ford and Ordinaries, and stocks trading below $3 per share. One of the most frequently questions I have been asked, and I've actually asked this question myself, and that is, how can I buy a stock for a niece, a nephew, my kids, uh, young cousins of mine? Well, you can do that very thing with Stockpile. They just need to have an adult on the account with them, usually mom or dad, but it can be a grandparent, aunt, uncle, or other adult. This kind of account is called a custodial account. The kid or teen, referred to as the minor or beneficiary, actually owns the stock while the adult, the custodian, has legal responsibility over the account. Once the minor is of age, the asset in the custodial account legally belong to him or her. They can help him or her open an individual account and transfer those assets from the custodial account into the new individual account. When choosing a gift card, you actually have two options. On one hand, you can pick the stock that you want to purchase for that person. This comes in very handy if you're getting a stock as a gift for someone that's not very very familiar with the market and you're afraid they may make a bad decision if you just give them the funds. Or if you're buying this for a, a friend or family member that may be a little more familiar with the stock, you could just basically get a gift card that's blank, it has no stock attached to it, and allow them to decide where they want to invest that money. The good thing is Stockpile has fractional shares. So you can buy, you can really invest any amount you want to in a number of stocks. If you want to put $1 into Tesla and Amazon and whatever, that's fine. But remember, there is also a 99 cent transaction fee that's going to be attached to it. So if you decide to buy multiple stocks with your $100, understand that you're also going to be paying fees along each for each transaction made. That seems so old school nowadays. Stockpile also offers an app that allows newbies and young folk many lessons on the market. This is something I really wish I had whenever I was a young whippersnapper. If I would have even recognized the value in it, I don't know, but I recognize it now. But you can't forget about Uncle Sam. He's going to get his another valuable and very realistic lesson for the young and new investor. It should be noted that the recipients will pay a capital gains tax when they sell their gifted stock. The severity of the tax will depend on how long the individual holds onto the stock. If they sell within a year of receiving the stock, they will be subject to short-term capital gains, which are taxed higher than long-term capital gains, which are investments held for over one 
year. For anyone wishing to give over $15,000, you will have a gift tax. If you are looking to transfer a substantial amount, you might want to consider a trust. A trust will allow you to postpone the recipient's access and ensure that the money will be used for its intended purpose. One downside to stockpile are all the fees that are involved. For a gift e-card purchase, there is a base price of $2.99 for the first stock, plus $0.99 cents for each additional stock, plus 3% for the credit or debit card fee. As an example, if you were to purchase a $50 e-card toward the purchase of Apple stock, you would pay $2.99 plus $1.50 for the credit slash debit card fee for a total fee of $4.49. If you're buying or selling stock, there's a $0.99 cent fee if you pay with cash, a $0.99 cent plus 3% fee if you pay with a credit card or a debit card, and a $0.99 cent fee to sell. If you want a physical plastic gift card, instead of the above fees, you will pay a single fee of $4.95 for a $25 card, $6.95 for a $50 card, and $7.95 for a $100 card. These fees cover the cost of using a credit slash debit card and printing the plastic card out. Let's weigh the pros and cons. Pros, they are the only brokerage where you can gift card or e-gift stocks. They have low trading fees as compared to what it used to be in the day. Now, that's not, this isn't really a pro. I look at this as almost a con, but both buying and selling cost only 99 cents per trade. They do have fractional shares. Through the gift card, stockpile routinely allows the buying and selling of fractional shares. There is no minimum account balance that you have to keep in the account. There are no annual fees either. Stockpile doesn't charge anything annually. Cons. Very limited account selection. Stockpile offers only individual and custodial accounts. There are no joint accounts or IRAs. There is a very limited investment selection. There are more than 1,000 stocks, ETFs, and ADRs available, and every stock on the S&P 500 is also available, but there are no bonds, no options, or mutual funds that are available. There's no real-time trading. Trades executed before 3 p.m. will settle the same day after 3 p.m. trades will be executed the next business day. And this is also for U.S. residents only. Stockpile is not open to non-U.S. residents. This is my opinion and I am a financial advisor. If you're out on your own and you're wanting to get into the stock market and you're kind of curious about how this whole thing works and you're looking for a brokerage, I would look elsewhere. There are better brokerages out there, online brokerages, that are, is not going to charge you any kind of trade fee. You can buy and sell at your leisure to a point or before you get labeled a day trader and need over twenty five thousand. But anyway, that's a whole other that's a whole other video. But if you are looking to buy stocks for a young person, a child, a kid, then this is a great opportunity to do just that. The fact that they're the only ones doing that right now is actually kind of surprising. You think some other people would have jumped on board by now? And if there are and I'm not direct on it, then by all means let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I did not see them. It's all good. But I do think this is a good opportunity if you have a niece, a nephew, your kids, you want to give them some kind of asset that maybe it pays a dividend and you want to keep reinvesting it. Or you just want to teach them something about the market and finances in general. I think this is a great opportunity to do just that. As I said, I wouldn't use it for my personal brokerage, but if I want to give my nieces and nephews some Apple stock or some stock in VU, then I would certainly 100% use this. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, I hope you stay safe out there. I hope your stocks stay green. Merry Christmas to everyone and happy holidays.